Greetings, everyone, and welcome to the spring semester. What I fervently hope and believe is likely to be the last of our semesters, profoundly shaped and disrupted by the global pandemic. I want to start by again thanking students and families. We have confronted just a host of challenges since last March in our personal lives, in our professional lives, and in the pursuit of education. And I'm enormously grateful for the commitment and more that you all have shown throughout. All of us, faculty and staff, are really very much looking forward to welcoming students back to campus. The first year set the standard in the fall, and it was wonderful to see them get a sense of this special college community. We're excited to have so many of our upper class students now return to campus and engage in a wide range of activities in and out of the classroom that help bring this campus to life. As we get oriented to the spring, I want to underscore what I think you all know. There is light at the end of the tunnel. The promise of a return to a more normal environment as the vaccine gets more broadly distributed is encouraging and we owe an enormous debt to everyone who has worked so hard to develop and distribute the vaccine. But between now and then, the perils presented by the virus remain significant and all too real. That's particularly true for the next couple of months when the weather will cause us to be indoors more than we'd like and in the very environment where the virus most easily spreads. So here's my plea to you. Let's buckle down together over the coming weeks and months, mindful that more normal days are ahead. Let's do what's necessary to make this semester work. Show up for testing, use masks consistently, follow the rules on indoor gatherings, physically distance, be attentive to washing hands, and let's do it for each other and with each other. None of us wants a repeat of the fall, where in one week we had more positive cases than many liberal arts colleges had in their entire semester. In our town halls over the past several months, I promised that the college would do its part to learn from the fall, and we've done that. Studying the experience at other schools, learning from the evolving guidance from public health experts. And you've seen the changes we've made, significantly increasing who is being tested and how often, having everyone in singles, being thoughtful about the number of students on campus, responding to the request of students and parents alike to tighten our rules and their enforcement. In short, the college has done just about everything we know to do to make the spring semester as safe as possible for our community. The baton now passes over to you, our residential students. We know this. The public health protocols work. Wearing masks and physical distancing are in combination highly effective. If we follow the protocols, we're well on our way to a successful semester. We also know that the protocols are especially important given the new variants of the virus, which appear to be more easily transmitted. If we let down our guard now with the new strains while we're indoors more than we'd like and before the vaccine has been widely distributed, we run the very real risk of a significant spread of the virus on campus. This isn't just hypothetical. We need look only up the road at Union College, which just this week recorded more positive COVID-19 cases than it did in its entire fall semester. Union believes there's community spread and has placed its campus in an all-campus quarantine. We don't want to have to resort to campus-wide quarantines, though we will if necessary, nor do we want to reassign students to the remote cohort, but we will do that as well for those who aren't following the protocols. Listen, it's been a long haul, and all of us, myself included, want things to return to normal as soon as possible. The more we commit to the public health protocols now, the more quickly we'll approach that light at the end of the tunnel, and the more confident we all can be that the semester ahead of us will be a healthy, vibrant, and engaging one. Let's work together and look out for each other so that together we can all get the very most out of the upcoming semester. Welcome home, and I look forward to saying hello in person in the coming days. Be safe, enjoy the semester. Take care now.